Hey guys, Zach from Say What Zach here. So today we are doing it. We are delving into the Funko Pop wall and finishing off the NHL Funkos once and for all. So there are 14 Funkos left that I haven't unboxed of the collection. As you saw the giant wall, we are we are polishing it off today. So here we are. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead get right into it. We got the setup for when we do the hockey cards all right here. And now we're gonna put some Funko Pops in there, not including our little Cameron slash me. I like, he looks like me, I like him. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and delve right into the Funko. So first, Jack Eichel is gonna be our first Funko Pop unboxing. So I did go through and look, I believe these are all the ones that I have left that we have not on the box. So we're gonna go ahead and again, pull them out and show them to you. Uh, I didn't show you guys the back. Let me show that to you real quick. Side. Front. Missing the player, obviously. Side. Bottom. Fun. Yeah, I got him, I believe, off of, uh, from Hot Topic, if I remember correctly. This is where I got Jack Eichel. So, there is the man. The captain. So, this one I like a lot because I've mentioned it in other videos. This is before, obviously, he was made captain, and he changed his number, number to number nine. So I still got the number 15s on it. 15, 15, 15, and still just the alternate captain, not the actual captain. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of a little piece of history of being able to show, like, he wasn't always captain. And uh, it's kind of cool. His hair, the poofy, poofy hair. <laughs> Did a pretty good job with the beard. As you can see that. In this case, the logo is really nice, too. The NHL logo is really nice in the middle. Let's see. Don't know how. Yeah, you guys can see that pretty good. Yeah, overall, I do like him. This is the first time, again, opening Jack Eichel. I have not opened him before. The gloves are a little too shiny for my liking. They should, I like when they do, like, the dull coat on it, kind of. It's a little bit duller. But, yeah. All in all, again, I like Jack Eichel. He's a good one. Put him over there. Next one. Sorry if you guys hear a little bit of squeaking from the chair. Sorry. Brent Burns. He's another one that's really fun with what design they had with him. So yeah, he's from the second run. I do have the whole set. You guys will see the rest of that with this video. Bottom, top. Let's get into it. I also have not opened up him before. Yeah, I don't know if I've opened up any of these remaining players. I'm just looking over the ones I have out here. No, I don't think I've opened up any of these before. So they will all be first time opens. And there is your Brent Burns with the big old bushy beard. The, the man bun. I'm not a big fan. But there it is. Oops, sorry. It's coming up his back. Brent Burns on the back. Number 88, 88. They do have the little shark logo in there. You guys can kind of see it. The shark logo around his chest. Again, pretty nice. But his gloves are also like that shiny, shiny sheen to it. I'm not a big fan of it. Even though I did realize Jack Eichel, he has the white stick, black stick. Interesting. But yeah, all in all, again, these are two really fun designed Funko Pops right there. They did a really fun job making them kind of more unique than other ones. So those are all the single, oh no, these are the last two single teamed ones I have. Oh, sorry. Keep forgetting to show you guys before I pop open the top. Brock Besser. For Vancouver, obviously, Canadian exclusive. Got this one while I was over in Canada. Connor David, Austin Matthews, Blake Wheeler, all those fun ones that I've shown you. You will see one more on this list in this video. I'm not going to tell you which one. You're going to have to watch to find out. And again, see, you can see right there, I got it. Edge Platinum Price. See, yeah, we don't have Edge here in the States anymore. We had a, we used to have a couple of them in Michigan. Uh, in one of the malls I live by, but yeah, it closed up a while ago. Now it's just Game Stops, pretty much. Alright, so, here is your Brock Besser. Oh, get a little, little fuzzies on his face. Brock Besser. Yep, and again, haven't opened him before. It's really cool with the Vancouver, even though they don't have that word mark on there anymore. Again, kind of cool, fun thing to look back on. The C, the Vancouver C on the jersey. The number six, the Brock Besser. 
with a besser on the back. You know, I noticed the green on the jersey isn't quite the green on the jerseys they have. I am noticing that. It's like it's like almost a dark green. Or I feel like as I think on the jersey it's a little bit more of a lighter green, like a bluish green, I guess, if you will. I don't know, just to me it looks a little off the coloring of the if you guys can tell in the video or not. I do like the glove design again with like the black with the doll coat on it. It looks a little bit more real and it's swervy hair. All that fun. So yeah, there's your Brock Besser, Canadian exclusive Brock Besser. Just put him over there next to me. And the last of the single team ones. So I don't have any other Calgary Flames. I don't think they made any other Calgary Flames. But it's Johnny Hockey. Again, if you guys watch my favorite player video, he is one of my favorite players to watch right now. So I was super excited to get him and pick him up. So again, Canadian exclusive. Uh, I don't really know where I got this one because he doesn't have a sticker on the bottom. He may have, I may have also picked him up while I was in Canada getting Brock Besser. I don't remember if all of them had the, um, whatchamacallit on it. No, I guess this is a different set, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one I how, uh, when I got him. I did go there a couple times, so maybe it was the second time I went there. Gone over there collecting Funko Pops a couple times now. And also, sorry, on the back. So I don't have Bo Horvat. He's one I don't have. Uh, Eric Carlson I don't have, and Shea Weber, the ones I don't have from this set here. So just a little up in. The ones I'm still missing, still looking to get the whole set. One day. One day. He spent a lot of money lately on hockey cards. Sorry. Opening that's a little out. Try and keep this not super long, but also show enough detail. I really like that Calgary Flames jersey. That just looks really nice. That C. Ugh, it's nice. The 13. It does have the Canadian flag on the one side. And it does have... I don't know if we'll be able to get it in there. You can kind of see it in there. The uh, I believe it's the Alberta flag, I think, is what the other flag is on the, Can on the Flames jersey. I'm not 100% sure if that's what it, I believe it is, the Alberta flag. Could be very wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Sorry if I am. Swishing his hair is kind of fun. Um, yeah, the back, which is good drew. It's just a fun figure. I love the logo, the Flames logo. I love the jersey. Just a fun, yeah, one of my favorites for sure. Him and Mitch Marner are two of my favorite Funkos I own. Uh, Pecorine is also on the tops there. Okay, let's go ahead and delve into the Minnesota Wild. So Devin Dubnik. He's wearing the Christmas jersey I'm not a big fan of. It's the one I own. Not my favorite jersey. Only reason I have it. If you watch my jersey unveiling videos on Patreon, you would know I got it because it was on clearance. But again, I have all of these ones, which you will see the rest of them today, I think. Yeah. So you saw Brett Burns, you got Dubnik. So yeah, you're going to see all of them today. Almost all of them right now. Go ahead and delve into Devin Dubnik. That was a little bit quieter, it's not so loud. It's still late here, so I don't want to wake up the whole house trying to unbox um, Funkos. <laughs> Try and keep it as soft as possible. All right, so as you guys know, goaltenders are my favorite position, favorite Funkos, yeah, so. Favorite player is Chris Osgood, who's again, goaltenders, so kind of have a soft spot. I do like, again, the way they did the pads is really cool. They're kind of bent, kind of different. The stick, got the number 40 there. So, looks a little faded, not gonna lie. Dubnik, 40. And again, Christmas jersey. I, I, oops, sorry. Hate that. Christmas jersey. The logo's pretty nice on there. It's a nice printing of it. And then the, the nice swooshing of the hair. I do like Devin Dubnik. He's a good goalie. Um, definitely a nice replacement to uh, Nicholas Backstrom when he ended up leaving and all that fun stuff. They had a little bit of a transitional phase. Devin Dubnik has definitely stepped out to be that next goalie. It's pretty nice for Minnesota. We'll see if he stays with them. Next up, Zach Parise. He's wearing the jersey I really like. So he's one of the newer ones. He has a new jersey that Adidas has released. I do like this jersey. This is one of my favorites next to their original jersey that they came out with. Yeah, so this set I do not have all of them. I don't have Marc Andre. I don't think I'm at, yeah, I don't have Matt Zuccarella. Zuccarella. Zuccarello. William Carlson I don't have. And I don't think I have Oshie either. I might I might have Oshie. I don't remember. Sorry, I have a lot of them. I can't remember all of them. I have like 36 of them. Something along those lines. Again, I do want all of them, but 
to lose track sometimes of which ones I do have and which ones I don't. It varies. So, box to the side. And there you go. Your Zach Parise again. I love that logo. It is my all time favorite logo. I might do a video eventually. My favorite jerseys or logos. This will be probably number one. Going to give you a little sneak peek now. I, I love the Minnesota logo. It's very artistic. It gets across what it is. But I love like the shooting stars, the eye, the setting sun, the river as the mouth. Oh, it's just as an artistic type person, I do love that that logo. It's an awesome logo. Not the best paint job on the, the gloves there. Thought that was a kitty cat on the counter again. They're sleeping this time. It's nice. Maybe I get through the whole video without any animal interruption. Cross fingers, right? <laughs> Number 11 on there with the Parise. It does look a little dull, not gonna lie. I don't know if it's just the coloring that looks a little off. Because, like, the white, or should I say, like, the tannish color with the green, it does look a little, like, dulled. I don't know. Maybe that's what, how it looks. The paint job isn't the greatest on this one, though. So, got duped a little bit on the paint job of. Zach Parise. I try not to cover up too many of them. I don't have to. We'll see. We'll see how I do. Next, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the Tampa Bay Lightning. So this one's Steven Stamkos. He is from the original set. Again, you can tell he's a little bit older. He's got a little bit of scuff mark on the side there. So yeah, he is from the original set. Again, I have most of these. The only one I'm missing, again, is Jonathan Taze. The only one I'm missing uh, for the originals. I was so excited when they originally released these Funkos. Because of the fact that I got to love hockey. I was collecting Funkos pretty hardcore at the time. I had probably close to 300 of them, if not more, when they came out with these. So, again, pretty hardcore, hardcore collector at that point. I have since transitioned to jerseys, hockey cards, and this channel. So, Funkos are kind of taking a hard detour to the side. Only ones I pick up now are these ones. So, here's your Steven Stamkos. Captain C there. Again, not the best detail being the first run of it. The logo's a little off since the chest is this way. It should be a little bit more that way. Again, for the first, first run, not awful. See that? They do have the Tampa Bay logo on the shoulder. Yeah, you can see that. Cool. On both shoulders. This hair, again, not a little lot of detail. Very bland. Not like, again, like this one. It's got like all the curves and swooshes with it. And him with the man bun, the floof. The, yeah, a little bit more detail you can tell as the sets go. Keep stammer over there. And we'll go into the one from the newest set. Andre Vasilevsky. So you get to kind of see the first set and the newest one. You'll see the, how big of a difference it is. And um, again, development. Again, I don't have most of these. I got McKinnon. You got Vasilevsky, Pasternak, and Larkin, so I'm still missing a couple from this run. Not including the Canadian exclusives, which I found out about a little later. Again, Hot Topic sticker right there. Um, but they had like John Favars. They came out with a, uh, Patrick Wall wearing a Canadian's jersey. Um, blanking, I think they have another one. I think they're blanking who the other one was. I'm pretty sure they had another Canadian exclusive come out in this run. So, Andre Vasilevsky, here we go. Again, pads are pretty cool. They got a little bit of texture, like a little bit of bumpiness to this pad. You know, pretty cool. Pads are you know, bent. Number 88, ooh, there's a little bit of a mark on his eighth, though, right there, if you guys can see it, yeah, right there. Get you in the back, there's that, but you can even tell with the hair, like again, it's swooshed, has a little bit more design to it. Ooh, he does have a scuff mark on his forehead, too. Oh, he is pretty banged up. His eye has a little bit of a mark. Vassy, what do they do to you? Again, I haven't opened him before, and he's he's pretty beat up. Yeah, he can cover me up right now. You'll, you'll, you'll see Cameron a lot. Going into the New Jersey Devils, we have five more after this one. New Jersey Devils, so you got Nico Hishai. Who is one of your all-stars this weekend? I'm trying to think. Who, is anybody else? Jack Eichel's an all-star. I think that's it. Uh, let's see over here. Yep, he's the only, uh, him and Jack Eichel are the only two All-Stars in this grouping. So yeah, and he's obviously coming in for the injured Cal Palmieri. Again, Hot Topic sticker at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, this is during the run when I picked up a ton of them off Hot Topic for Christmas. Probably the Black Friday sale. It was like, buy, so 
buy like two get one to get one or two free or something or buy two get one free something along those lines so i picked up like six of them so i do like the hair design again it does look like him the new jersey i do like the devil's like colors and the logo it is an awesome logo too very simple but very it gets the point across i do like it a little bit of a mark on his back there but yeah again i also like the stance they have and like the sil this is silver on his stick i don't know if you guys can get that across in the video but yeah i do i do like the the new jersey devils logo it's kind of cool did a good job with that one and our other new jersey devil no longer new jersey devil taylor hall so obviously again another little piece of history when down the line go over back uh, go over go back in time and see what else is going on and you know, where everybody ends up and what teams they've been on these kind of are nice so you can go back and say oh yeah he wore number 15 for a while he wasn't always the captain and the different jersey types and he didn't he played for new jersey for a little bit who knows if he stays in arizona for this year like after this year but we shall see. Yeah, it's just kind of fun to be able to look back and see some of these and I guess reminisce about like, better times. Or not better times, past times. I want to say better for everybody. Some of these are bad times. Anyways, with the alternate captain logo on there, it's pretty nice. Got a nice jersey. I think he came in the same set as Nico. No, it doesn't say he did. Interesting. I really thought he did. Oh, he did. For some reason, that's not on the list, but yeah, he is. So yeah, these both came out in the same set. So they got really New Jersey Devil heavy in the set with two, two of them. Number nine, Taylor Hall. Yeah, obviously they're wearing number 91, I believe. I believe he's number 91 in... Arizona because Clayton Keller is obviously number nine and they're not going to have him switch for the new guy. All right, we got four more to go. Let's go with, we'll go with the Canadians. So we got Montreal here. So for some reason, oh, he has a little bit of a mark there. For some reason, Jonathan Druin, again, Canadian exclusive. He is one of the more expensive ones. He's like 30 something dollars if you go on Fungo Pop price guide. I don't know why he's one of the most expensive ones. Maybe he was just not his short ran I mean, nobody really wanted him much so they didn't make a lot i don't know but out of all these he is the most expensive one besides like a um these are chase versions those are a little more expensive but yeah for some reason as a base one he is one of the more expensive ones i don't know why again picked up in canada from edge dealing so yeah i'll have a couple of expensive ones i know with him the uh, one of the other ones I'm going to show you is worth a little bit of money, about 18 to 20. And I know the Ovechkin one is worth a little bit. Vladimir Tarasenko went up a little bit after they won the Stanley Cup. But anyways, here's him. Ooh, I do like his gloves. That's really cool. Like the red and the blue in there. That's really nice. The Montreal Canadiens, again, just very, very classic. But he always, again, it looks almost like a doll clothes coat. And like this one, it's kind of like shiny. Him, yeah, not so much. He's a little bit more doll on his outfit. Kind of almost like the Zach Parise one. It's a little bit more dull. Drop Drew in. Got flowing locks. Got to have the locks, man. The, those got to be those got to be spot on. You know what I mean? Um, stick him right, right in there. Try not to block too many people. Yeah. Besser's getting a little blocked, but well, somebody's gonna get pushed out. Sorry, Besser. Carey Price. He's also one of the original ones. Definitely not playing up to snuff this year. But, again, he's playing with an injured team. And honestly, if you overwork him like they have been, you're going to start to see some faltering as he gets older. Montreal desperately does need a backup goalie who can come in and win a few games for him when they need him to. Because Kier Percy, I, th I think they do work overwork him, and that's why his numbers aren't quite where they normally are. Anyways, here we go. We got the pads. Again. Decent amount of, again, I didn't realize how, like, it is like that. But, again, you look at the goalie stick, it's just silver with a little bit of red on it. Not a whole lot of detail on the stick. We're like, Nico over here has, like, the silver on the stick here. Uh, Dubnik is white and green. Uh, Vesalis is just all black, so it gets a little bit better. Where It's not just basic silver with it 
He does have the mustache. That's kind of cool. The, the goatee, I guess. That's kind of fun. Let's push. I guess he is a little bit more detailed than some of the other base ones. Carry okay, price in the back. Number 31, 31. 31. Okay, so. Stick carry price there. I guess he also has a beard and stuff. He, Stephen Samco's from the original set has a beard and stuff. I guess he had a little bit of detail on him, but yeah. Okay. And the last ones. Last team. Last two. Good. I wanted to keep it relatively short. We're at 20 minutes, so say about another three or four and we'll be done. Not too bad for 14 Funkos. Evgeny Malkin for the Pittsburgh Penguins. So, getting Malkin, who did a really good job at kind of picking up the slack when Krause got injured. Jake Gensel got injured. Galchenyuk has been playing up the snuff. He's kind of stepped up and playing one of those players that they need him to be. So, good on Malkin. Uh, well, I'd be interested to see how he does the rest of the season. Now that Krause is back, if they get healthy, just to see if he keeps it up or if he kind of dies off again. He, he does that where he gets, like, really hot when he needs to be, and then when he doesn't, he kind of dies out a little bit. I'd like to see him be consistently good all the time, like he, you know he can be. Penguins logo there, the 71. It's a little small, 71, but the mocking on the back. Sides. Skate. And again, yeah, this is their kind of newer jersey. Old, new jersey. Yeah, you guys won't be able to see his jersey, but he's there. Right there. Okay, and last but not least, I fair I leave one of the ones that a lot of people love. Not, I mean, he is an amazing player, probably arguably one of the best players in the league right now. Not one of my favorites, 2008, 2009, if you're wondering why. Sidney Crosby, Canadian exclusive from the original set. He is worth about 18 to 20 bucks, somewhere around that range, last time I checked. But yeah, he was one I could find a few here because for some reason a lot of them picked him up. I guess the first run didn't have a lot of ones that a lot of people here in Michigan wanted. So again, Canadian uh, Crosby stuff is always relatively popular. I guess that's why a lot of the stores bought him. So I picked him up here in the States as a Canadian exclusive, which is kind of fun. Again, have not opened this one. So this Crosby is seeing fresh air for the first time. And I'm coming out. Ooh, that's a, that's a stiff one. Not one to come out. Okay. There we go. The captain of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Right there. When you see in here, like it's a white, it's not silver like it is for Nico. Seven. He said on the back. Sorry, it's a little bit. Yeah. The hair doesn't say it does have some decent detailing on the hair, considering it's the first run. But yeah, not bad. Again, the NHL logo right in the middle. Let's see if I can get him. Can I see it? It's not very detailed. It's it's in there, but it's it's yeah, it's a little smushed. But yeah. Anyways, there are your Funko Pops unboxing. This is the final 14 that I have that I didn't do yet. Wanted to kind of get them done so you guys can see it, all of them and kind of get an idea of what's out there. Again, I'm missing easily another 10 of them. I would say I'm, I'm guessing there's about 50. I don't know exactly how many are out there, but yeah, I'm I'm, get, I'm missing quite a few still. But this is this is a good chunk of the collection they've come out with over the course of all the videos. Um, so you guys can kind of see them and maybe pick them up yourselves if you guys can find them. Again, in the US, it's a little hard to find some of these. In Canada, I know you can find them probably a little easier. But yeah, uh, again, if you guys like the videos, give us a like and subscribe. And again, thank you so much for watching everything we have. We have bit, hit 50 subscribers as of this recording. Super excited about that. I wouldn't have guessed I would even get a few. So what, four months ago when I started this? I appreciate everything you guys have done, watching, subscribing, all that fun stuff, commenting. Anyways, uh, again, this is Zach from Say With Zach, and I will talk to you guys again very soon.